Hi everybody and welcome. I'm Stan Zaslavsky from Eagle Vision Property here with Peter Matali talking about buying development sites with permits. And we're now in the second stage of actually doing detailed feasibilities once we've acquired the site and the due diligence period has gone. It's now optimizing the feasibility further. So Peter, what happens at this stage? Well, I'll give you an example with the um, previous case study that we were talk, discussed about. Yep. Um, we have acquired the site. Yep. We're actually um, in the stage now of getting it off the ground. So meaning project marketing one side of things, getting all the consultants, getting the structure drawings, getting out to tender. So the whole process in getting it off the ground. So, yep. And we're just finalising now, and just to give you an example of what we've actually achieved, we've actually brought the yield down. So it was a permit for 53 apartments, okay? Majority, or was pretty much half-half, two bedrooms to, to one bedrooms. So we actually deleted the one level of basement parking, which had two levels. So we're down to one level parking, and we've also brought down the yield down to 42, right. um, being mostly all the two bedrooms. Now, giving you an example, of why we did that. Now, a normal one bedroom apartment, around about 50 square meters, you'd be selling it around, say 400,000, maybe a little bit lower, a bit higher. Now, for a two bedroom, um, say 65 square meters, smallish two bedrooms, you'd be selling it around 480,000, quite well, and quite yep. easily for a two bedroom. Now, the difference in costs is an extra 15 square meters. So if you were to work out averaging out, say 3,000 to Three and a half thousand per square meter. So you're talking around about um, thirty to thirty-five thousand um, extra to make it into a two better. However, you've actually sold it now, or the value of it is four hundred and eighty. So it might have cost you an extra thirty you, from the four hundred thousand, but you're selling it for four hundred eighty thousand, gives you an increase of around fifty thousand dollars profit on just that one bedroom that you've converted into a two better. Yep. So though, even though your yields come down, your profit margins yep. or return on your Plus investment. Plus you remove $600,000 by taking out the basement overall, levels. Correct, correct. Yep. So, so the project that looking at it initially wasn't workable mm. and that's why they're selling it. Yep. However, we've actually achieved a very good project out of it, yep. very high profits out of it. By optimising the permit. By optimising the permit correctly. Yep. That's very right. Good. Excellent. So I guess what other consultants are involved at this yeah. stage? So now we're actually um, consulting with the project marketing team, which yep. is selling them off the plan. So we've finalised the plans, which are, um, are getting approved and amended in council. Yep. Um, so we're going to proceed with the project marketing, having them sold off the plan. Yep. The other part of it is having all the consultants appointed mm -hmm. as far as um, the well, the architects already had in place, but the engineers, civil engineers, um, hydraulic engineers, um, all the, the appropriate consultants that are required to get all the documentations prepared for putting it out to tender. Yep. Um, but pretty much now the concept is locked down. Yes. So we're proceeding further with that uh, structure. I guess. That's correct. That's correct. That's getting, it, getting on with the project now. Yep. Whereas we know the profitability there, it work, workable. Mm. We know our structures all workable. Um, so yeah, it's all good. Thanks. Yeah. So. Look, thanks for joining us. That's all that I guess we have time for today. But in the next issue, we'll next edition, we'll discuss how it proceeds further from here.